Good day everyone, today I'm going to show you Alpha Hidi Fort or it has more popular name Dubai Museum. If you are traveling by metro, the best way would be to go from Alpha Hidi metro station. According to Google Maps it's only 12 minutes by walk from there. Otherwise you can take Al Gubaiba metro station and it will take you only 15 minutes by walk from there. I was traveling by car, so uh, there are four best ways to park nearby. First option would be directly next to Dubai Museum, but it's always full. Second option, little bit further, but uh, also it, most of the time it's full. So the best option for me was just to go across the road, there is a huge parking. It took me five minutes to park over there. In case if you didn't succeed with RTA parking, there is a paid parking across the road. The cost of the parking 10 dirhams. Entrance fee to Dubai Museum is 3 dirham per adult and 1 dirham for a child under 6 years old, which is quite cheap. Doors of Dubai Museum open from Saturday to Thursday from 8.30 am to 8.30 pm. In case if you want to visit Dubai Museum on Friday, uh, the doors are open from 2.30 to 8.30 pm. The size of Alpha Hidi Fort is 4000 square meters. Alpha Hidi Fort was built around 200 years back in 1787. This is the oldest tower in Dubai. First, it was used as a monarch residence and a tower of defense. After that, it was turned into arsenal, artillery and weapons. And it was even used as a prison for outlaws for some time. And at the end, in 1971, it was opened as uh, Dubai Museum. In 1995, there was an uh, underground section added to Dubai Museum. In the outside area of the fort, you can find cannons and boats which were used that time. If you go inside, you can find examples of different weapons. Right now we are inside the house where you can learn about way of life of people that time. As for me, the most interesting part starts at the underground part of the museum. Let me take you there. Underground part starts from information boards where you can read all about history of Dubai.
After that exhibition takes you into a souk of 1950 where you can dive in into atmosphere of the market that time. As for me, it's quite interesting to see how people was living that time, how, how they was trading, traveling, what they were dressing. In this part of exhibition you can find out the way of life of people that time, how they were doing agriculture, how Emirates was getting and delivering water. This is C part of exhibition where you can find out how people was building boats, fishing and getting pearls. Pearl business was a huge part of Dubai economy at that time. As for me, the underground part is the most interesting part of Dubai museum. You can deeply dive into atmosphere and day-to-day -day life of Emirates of that time. This part of museum will be interested not only for adults but for kids as well. It doesn't matter if you are a resident or a tourist in Dubai, you have to visit this place, it's super interesting.
and in the last section of Dubai Museum you can find pieces of ancient plates, vases, etc. Thank you for watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit like button. Please don't forget that I'm working in real estate and if you want to rent or buy any property in Dubai, you can find all my details in description to this video. You can also support this project by cryptocurrencies. All details you can find in description to this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.